Monday, May 9 to 0, 1, 6. This poodle, this Maltese, male neutered, 8 years old, comes in the complaint of skin infections on this lower back there. Yeah. And also biting the tail and scootering, rubbing the backside on the floor. You can see here now. These are normally the signs of inner cellulitis where I have expressed the oil already. I'll hold the tail first. The, the inner sac, the inner sac is uh, impacted with oil, yellowish oil, and uh, it's been expressed. And as you can see, this yellowish oil is a yellowish oil which has been expressed out. Okay, now the thing is, what causes this? So it's most likely it's inner cellulitis. The last time it was done was uh, four months ago. Experts in a set now. The important thing is actually this one, which the, is the recurring perineal hernia, right perineal hernia. It was operated last time by stitching the ends to the inner area spinter from one end to the other end, but. Uh, it doesn't work because it's too big. The hernia sac is too big. And uh, and the owner says that the dog is eating, drinking, urinating, urinating and passing stools normally, so he doesn't want any operation which uh, which uh, it requires the use of a wire mesh. We make it in a cone and then put in and then stitch up the cone to the side so that the wire mesh is like a net it's like a net so that uh, it doesn't uh, hernia through but uh, because it's expensive the wire mesh so the owner doesn't really want, want to do it but you can see that uh, it can be reduced yeah, come reduce it, you can reduce it you can reduce the swelling you can hear the sound those are the intestines of the rectal area, see, but it seems to be no pain at the moment. Huh? But you can hear the sound there, is it reduced? So this confirms it's a hernia because we parry the hernia, this is a reducible. You see it's reduced to zero. See no more swelling. And uh, that is the confirmation. You can see the 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 gap is very big, bigger than two fingers wait let me see three fingers wait three fingers of uh, three fingers or two fingers deep the, the gap okay so the the surgery is using wire mesh or we call it the hernia mesh to not not wire it's a hernia mesh to uh, to close up the hole now this skin is this I check under the microscope there seems to be no uh, fungus no signs of fungus, it's been for a few weeks and uh, it could be part of the inner sac circulitis you can see the hairs are quite smooth although I can't draw out fungus ringworm because it could be the starting of the of the ringworm infection so now we'll have the dog doing a dental scaling which you can see is uh, see the back one the back teeth open the back teeth the back teeth tartar is wait, see show show this it doesn't uh, it's not very happy with it but you can see the tartar the back teeth is the important one wait, let me focus on it now you hold uh, because I need to document it whole out a bit. Hmm. Oh, the other side. Let's see the other side. Not the other side, I mean the... You can, re you can remember this place. Okay, so you see the tartar. So that will prevent uh, a primola, what you call that, the uh, carnizer tooth abscess later on in life. So we do a dental scaling today, no no perineal hernia <coughs> repair because the owner doesn't want it. 
then we will clip off the hairs. We clip off the hairs here, and then uh, express the inner sac again under anesthetic. Okay.